Thank you, Annalisa, and congratulations on the Nuclei Project. And uh, thank you to the Women's Fair team. It's great to be here today. So there has been a lot of discussion among policymakers and politicians recently about the tremendous importance of STEM. And I strongly agree with them. I think STEM is very, very important. I'm an artist. I chose to make my artistic base in Silicon Valley, close to Stanford University. Uh, I've incorporated brain waves into my artwork. I've sent artwork to the International Space Station and incorporated time dilation. I think that Silicon Valley is really like what Paris was 100 years ago. It's really a global creative capital. Uh, and indeed, technology is the heartbeat of our time. But many policymakers today are arguing that STEM should be the only focus of education and that art, music, and literature should be scaled back and we should just devote all of our resources to STEM. The argument is something like this. America is under threat. We're losing our global competitive edge. China and India are on the rise. They're cranking out all these engineers and they're gonna take our high paying jobs. Uh, so their solution is, is as simple as their argument, which is just if we focus exclusively on STEM, then we will be able to hold off this uh, assault, ominous assault from the East. However, I would like to argue that for any country to be successful, for any country to be a leader in innovation, whether it's the US or China or, or any country, um, focusing all efforts exclusively on STEM would be detrimental. What we really need is STEAM which is science, technology, engineering, the arts, and math. And we need that now more than ever. We really need to foster a system that promotes cultivating both sides of our brains. And to make the case for STEAM, I'd like to briefly look at the roots of US success thus far and show the great role that STEAM has played and explore three reasons why we will need STEAM going into the future. So I would like to argue that uh, pure STEM prowess has not been the key to American innovations. Really, it has been STEAM. Uh, to begin, let us consider that looking at the International Mathematics Olympiad over the past 50 years, which is the world's premier math competition, the US has been number one only four times. The so Soviet Union was number one 16 times, and China was number one 18 times. Yet the US has dramatically outpaced all of these countries uh, in innovation, whether you look at it as uh, the number of Nobel laureates or uh, the groundbreaking products and companies. So why is this? Well, the US has always had STEAM-based education, uh, and it, this is America's unique strength. Whether you're studying physics at Caltech or EE at uh, MIT or Columbia or CS at Stanford, you have to take art and civilization and writing classes. Um, Charles Vest, who is the National Academy of Engineering president and the former president of MIT said, I cannot imagine MIT without its visual arts and without its performing arts component. And if, in China, in, if you're in China or Russia and you're studying science, you'll be studying science and that's it, just science alone. Um, so how does this STEM educational system and culture um, affect innovation? Well, I would like to look at, at Apple and at Steve Jobs, perhaps one of the greatest innovators of our time. In his own words, he said, the Macintosh was so successful because it was built by artists, musicians, poets, and zo zoologists. And by that, he meant that the engineers who were working on that product actually had not just a passing interest in those things, but um, uh, actually degrees and were equally comp competent in those, those things. So it was the, really a dream STEAM team that he created. Before Apple, uh, if you look at the early MP3 player, that's a great example of pure STEM technology. Great functionality, um, it's portable, it works, but nobody wants to use it. Uh, an example of STEAM technology is Apple's iPod, and then further, the iPhone. It organically integrated technology and beauty and functionality, and Apple made something that was so visually compelling that people wanted to integrate it into their daily lives. So STEAM was important for this technology breakthrough and many others, but why will it be important going into the future? Well, the first uh, is creativity. I think the role of the arts is so much more than just designing compelling products. 
The arts really stimulate our imagination like nothing else. And right now in our world today, we really need a hyper boost of imagination. We have such big overwhelming problems that we're facing from global warming to demographic time bombs to natural disasters and global financial crises. And these problems are tough precisely because cookie cutter standard um, approaches have failed. To solve them, we need people who are not just technically competent, we need people who are on top of that extraordinarily creative and imaginative to be able to imagine the solutions. The second reason why I think that integrating arts into STEM curriculum and creating STEAM curriculum is visual literacy. Visual literacy is important now more than ever, so the um, information exchange right now is accelerating at an exponential pace, and a large amount of that exchange is visual. You have this proliferation of photo sharing platforms, video sharing platforms, um, this ubiquitous imagery that's in both personal and professional spaces, and young people today, their success in this world is going to largely depend on their ability to decode and deconstruct all of this imagery that they're being bombarded with and then furthermore to be able to uh, have the sophistication to create the images that will articulate their own narratives and identities and personal and professional brands. Furthermore, the success of th as phenomena as diverse as political campaigns and consumer electronic device launches often rests largely uh, on the visuals that are, that are conveyed in those campaigns. The, the third and last reason that STEAM is important is I think that STEAM will help us avoid raising the unemployed of tomorrow. Education policy should not just look a few years ahead, it should be looking 20, 30, 40 years into the future. And right now we're entering into a tidal wave of automation. It's staggering the number of jobs that are gonna be automated in the coming decades. Anything that can be replaced by an algorithm will be replaced by an algorithm. Blue collar jobs, white collar jobs, um, anything that can involve a re reproducible sequence of actions is gonna be automated. And a lot of technology jobs are actually gonna fall into that category. And increasingly intelligent algorithms are going to replace most of these jobs uh, today that we have all around us in all forms. Except any job that does not involve cr um, creativity or imagination because creativity will really be the last thing to be automated, if ever. So uh, if we create unimaginative, uncreative, but technically competent drones, um, their jobs for certain will be automated. And right now the Chinese are better at uh, creating human calculators than we are. So uh, in, in conclusion, I'd like to say that the biggest problem of education is really artificially constraining different areas of human achievement, of human expression. STEAM is just an acronym, but it is really an expression of the full spectrum of human achievement. And young minds should be encouraged to roam freely between art and science and back and hell. Even old minds should be encouraged to roam freely between those, whatever, however you define old and young. Technology is at its best art, and art is at its best technology. And to say that technology is not art would be to rob technology, and to say that art is not technology would be to rob art. I think each of them at their best encompasses both sides of human existence, this uh, logical side and this more emotional, intuitive side, with technology uh, focusing more on the logical side and maybe art focusing more on the imaginative side. I think that any experiment to pigeonhole or to socially engineer a pure science or a pure art will inevitably result in failure, and the students who are part of this will be the victims of such short-sightedness. The future generations will need science. They will need technology, engineering, and mathematics. But the future generations of tomorrow will also need arts integrated into that. They will need STEAM. Thank you.